Hi everyone, we are from group 7 and we will do presentation chapter 3 about defining and rewinding the problem. And let me introduce myself. My name is Tiara Rizky Cahya with real estate of NPM 140B and I'm here with my teammates Rea Natania Manesa Sebayang with real estate of NPM 029. So the first one is the board problem area. A problem does not necessarily mean that something is seriously wrong with the current situation that needs to be rectified immediately. A problem could also indicate an interest in an issue where finding the right answer might help to improve an exciting situation. There are three initial stages of the research process and illustrates how we get from a board management problem to a feasible topic for research. Step one is identification of the board management problem. And we move to the step two, which is preliminary research. And the third step is definition of the research problem. Okay, so next is preliminary research. So preliminary research can help in understanding the problem better and refining it into a researchable topic to study once a broad problem area has been identified. Finding answer to questions such as what is the problem? Why does the problem exist? Is the problem important? And what are the benefits of solving the problem? So be made easier for the researchers with the help of preliminary research while the type of problem at hand determines the specific type of information required for this purpose. It can generally be categorized into two categories. The first one is information on the organizations and its environment, and the second one is information on the topic of interest. Next one is nature of information to be gathered. The first one is background information on the organization itself. So we have to found the background of the information from the organization we search. And the next one is information on the topic or the subject or area we select. So next is what makes a good problem statement. So a good problem statement includes both of statement of the research objectives and the research questions. A good research also needs a purposive focus. Once the purpose of the study has been identified, one is able to formulate the research questions of the study. The research objective and the research questions are strongly related. It would have been impossible to adequately detail the research questions if the research objective had been unclear, unspecific, or ambiguous. The next is basic type of questions, exploratory and descriptive. So this is the three types is exploratory research question, descriptive research question, and casual research question. So this is the research proposal, which is one, a working title and background of the study. And the third one is the problem statement, consists of the purpose of the study, research, and research question. The fourth one is the scope of the study. And the fifth one is the relevance of the study. And continue to the sixth one is the research design, offering details on a type of study, exploratory and descriptive, and then data collection methods, the sampling design, and also the data analysis. And the seven one is the frame of the study, including information on when the written report will be handed over to the sponsors. The eighth one is the budget, detailing the cost with preference to specific items of expenditure. The nine one is selected bibliography. Okay, so next is managerial implications. So managers can misinterpret symptoms in a challenging situation, leading to frustration with ineffective solutions. Precise problem identification relies on understanding the antecedents problem, consequences, sequence. Managers input shapes research, defining the problem and defining it into a possible topic. Recognizing the importance of accurate problem definitions, Managers collaborate with researchers for effective resolutions. A well-crafted research proposal draws relevance, but ongoing managerial involvement in source 
objectives are met. Uh, continuous information exchange enrich both managerial relevance and research quality. And the next one is ethical issues in the preliminary stages of investigation. The researchers collect preliminary information through interview with decision makers and employee to define a specific problem statement. Upon specifying the problem, the researcher evaluate their capabilities and decide whether to proceed with the project. If chosen, the employees are informed about the study, emphasizing confidentially and ensuring their comfort and cooperation. Voluntary participation is encouraged, respecting employees' rights to protection, privacy, and confidentiality, while avoiding deceptive methods to gather information. Yeah, and that's it from our group. Thank you for your attention and have a good day.